Now we're tracking the latest on Hurricane Milton as it barrels towards the Florida coast. Right now you're taking a live look in Naples, Florida, as the beach and pier have been evacuated of the storm. And here's a live look at the roadways on I-75 that are headed north out of the state. Wow, you can see all of those people traffic backed up as emergency management officials are urging Floridians to leave the state as the storm heads to the area. The Category 4 storm remains on the eastern tip of Mexico, and it's expected to make landfall in Florida as early tomorrow morning. We are tracking all the latest developments with Hurricane Milton, and we will provide updates as they come in. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Matthew Foltz here at 13 News. Thanks for joining us right now. We know, Sean Ash, you've been tracking Milton all day long and all morning long, and I guess right now it's uh, not looking good. No, it's not, partner. And Lindsay just updated our forecast blog that we're doing on Milton. That's available uh, on our free app as well as WTHR.com. Uh, not a shock, but we told you yesterday, Tampa Airport has already ceased operations Orlando tomorrow morning, but flights to Orlando have been canceled. Flights to Fort Myers canceled here out of Indianapolis. We have an aircraft uh, reconnaissance going on right now, cutting through the core of Milton. Wind dropped to 145 back up to 150 and its satellite presentation at this hour is showing the eye becoming defined here. So intensification happening. This was expected as well. It went through something we call an eye wall replacement cycle weakened a little bit, but unfortunately this whole process is going to expand its wind field here. Uh, the bottom line, it is still projected to make landfall near Tampa sometime around three or four Thursday morning. It's conceivable that enough dry air on the southern side cuts into the rain there, but north near and north of the eye wall track is going to get very heavy rain and get the brunt of the wind. And this is by Thursday afternoon. It's actually going to get back out into the Atlantic and then move away. But at that point, unfortunately, the damage will be done. We're still expecting an area of 10 to 15 foot storm surge.